Too late, adopter! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, to the new video, and today we gotta start today with Bitcoin. We gotta do Bitcoin analysis today because uh, it's kind of important, you know. It's been uh, going down, as you probably have noticed, uh, altcoins creation. But today is actually a little bit better day than yesterday. It's, we are up 1.35%, but we still gotta talk about uh, talk about Bitcoin. We're gonna see uh, what's happening with Bitcoin and uh, some kind of moving averages and some kind of uh, RSI divergence and stuff like that. I think you're gonna find this interesting, so let's get into the charts and see what's actually happening. Now that we are into the charts, make my face small, charts bigger, let's see what's actually happening. So this is a daily Bitcoin chart. We're going to start with the 4 hourly because it's easier to see. I mean, you can turn off the moving averages uh, just to see what's happening. So we had uh, this uh, uh, dump yesterday, uh, 24, 23, around he started, it went all the way down, then it climbed a little back up and then it dumped really hard, right? So now we are sitting down at uh, 23,000, but we are all the way down at 52,000. And uh, this is on the 4 hourly chart. I'm going to uh, show you a better thing on the 4 hourly we broke the 200 moving average that's over here and now we are retesting once two times uh, 200 moving average from the uh, bottom side as a resistance which actually it seems to be uh, a very uh, bad thing right but there is light at the end of the tunnel i'm going to show you that now uh the most bullish thing and also on the daily on the daily we are almost uh, testing this uh, uh this uh, 50 moving average uh, down here now uh, look at this so the question becomes like why did it stop over here and i think it's because of uh, this resistance uh, over, over here uh and it actually co corresponds very well with uh, with where the price actually found support on this one over here this also works for a uh, four hourly because of these uh, weeks up here so it seems like uh, some kind of natural horizontal resist uh, support uh, down the uh, line and it's uh, creating it very nicely uh, this also gives us a very nice RSI divergence very very nice so you can see over here I'm gonna remove this line now uh, you can see here on the 4 hourly that we are getting a RSI divergence the price went down and the RSI went up I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, zoom into this so you can see here that th this bottom over here is uh, lower than this one so the error size is going up uh, and the price is going down that's a hidden bullish RSI divergence and that's very good because that usually means uh, the price is gonna turn out so this looks like some kind of bottom on the 4 hourly but we're gonna examine this further and we're gonna show you a little more of the RSI divergence and what's actually happening so let's go into the uh, one day chart the daily chart and we're gonna see what's actually happening on one day chart and it's actually very very bullish RSI divergence hidden bullish divergence as well but on the long term chart and look this all the way from here to up here we now have officially broken uh, uh, a downtrend on RSI divergence look at this you see this bot bottom of, uh, bot bottom over here you see this bottom over here that's lower that means that this uh, this goes lower than this one and that creates this RSI divergence so it doesn't matter how how far this uh, price now goes goes down this will still create a divergence only way this cannot play out now is if this price goes all the way below this bottom over here if it goes all the way below here and starts going further down here then that means that this line will actually be like this and this line will be like this and there will be no divergence and that would be very very bearish pattern for bitcoin because not only the, the, the don't you get any hidden bullish divergence but you get a you get a lower low which is very bearish uh, bearish uh, thing to get so we don't want to get price like something like this do something like this because and get this uh, low uh, lower low so we want the price to stay above we want the price to stay above let me use the magnet for this above 45000 we want the price to stay above 45000 uh, so right now it looks like we are hitting some kind of button this yes can it can still uh, go uh, all the way down to 45,000 above 40 but wherever it stops as long as it stops above 45,000 we get uh, we get this uh, uh, hidden bullish divergence that's very bullish and if that happens that kicks in uh, we are golden we are golden not only that I don't, I don't think we are gonna go that far down because over here we have this uh, uh, hidden bullish divergence on, on the four hourly 
we have this hidden bullish divergence on the 4 hourly that I think that can actually push the price uh, further up. So I don't know if you have been following other people uh, and what they are saying, but usually people are uh, reckoning around 50,000 and um, 58, uh, 57, 58,000. This to be uh, the support area down here because of some moving averages, some uh, uh, other lines. Uh, let me be, remove this one. Uh, so this is the area people are actually reckoning that we are, uh, are going to go down to. So everybody is still very bearish on Bitcoin, but because of the RSI divergence, because of uh, uh, because of the because because re, re, people are bearish, I think this might actually be that we are on some kind of button. Not only that, uh, yesterday and uh, on yesterday's video, I show you that I think we are in some kind of a a wedge over here and not the triangle that people are talking about and I saw today that MM Crypto was also talking about wedge so I was wondering is he watching my videos uh, uh, probably not so this seemed to be uh, some kind of line down here maybe you should use this week down here and then you got this uh, this very nice line over here uh, how it's, how this one is gonna go it's uh, maybe something like this uh, maybe it's all the way down here uh, depends maybe something like this uh, it looks like some kind of wedge depends on depends on how you uh, how much you uh, you extend it but but it is looks like some kind of wedge and wedges have a bigger probability to break on the upside than to break on the downside so i don't think we're gonna see this uh right now it's assumptions assumption bear but uh, i i'm more bullish to the upside than to the downside right now and i think if we can get back to this resistance line up here i think uh, it's gonna break it on the upside it's gonna break it up on the upside so that might actually be a very good thing uh, for Bitcoin right now, but we have to see uh, how this plays out. Also yesterday we were talking about uh, some kind of moving averages and when this price was going up here, we were talking about how the Bitcoin was forming a double bottom over here and it was going up, right? So this indicates some kind of a re reversal pattern, but it got stopped by this moving averages, this uh, resistance line up here, resistance line up here, and this moving average at the top to 150 moving average, the yellow and the blue line. Uh, and we said uh, it's probably going to get resisted and probably going to go retest down on the bo bottom side. And if that happens, we're going to get this error side, uh, error side diversion. And exactly as I predicted, it exactly played out as I, uh, actually, it did actually play out exactly as I predicted up until this point and we just have to see if I am correct on this that this error side divergence will actually uh, put the price up above this resistance line because I'm not bullish until we get above this uh, line again so that's all that matter so ne next next move should be uh, on the upside and we should preferably break this 200 moving line over here uh, when we break that we should start climbing up of the, uh, above the uh, 20 moving average and then probably break if we cannot break the 200 moving average then maybe maybe uh, there, there should come a more move to the downside so you have to always look at it if you start breaking this line over here if you get starting uh, getting rejected by this uh, 200 moving average over here and starting breaking on the downside uh, down here uh, you, we might see uh, all of these uh, targets being hit, if not even closed down. But the important part is that we don't want to uh, get below the 45,000. So we can go as as long as uh, down here and we will still get RSI diversion on the daily and get a lower high and we will be very, very bullish. So all will be still very good. Now I'm going to show you another chart that's very important. This is the CME futures chart. Uh, and you can see on here, let's start with the daily. Uh, this is, you know, CME futures chart where the big money Wall Street is trading. Uh, then they are not trading on uh, Binance, all right? So ba basically, we have this. Uh, let's move the trend up because I think it's, uh, this is a weekly maybe trend line. Uh, Drew, no, I have no clue where this trend line, trend line is coming from. But you can see on the daily. Well, let's start with the daily and turn off the moving averages. I'm gonna show you that the same uh, resistance up up here is now supporting this price over here. But the moving averages are different. So basically, yesterday we actually held above the 20 moving average, but today we are below it. Uh, we went uh, below, and now we are pushing uh, the price back above. So if we can close the day above the 20 moving average, I would be super bullish on that Bitcoin can actually manage to get out of, on uh, out of the wedge. Here, there is some also some kind of wedge. I think. Uh, something like this maybe uh, let's see how this plays out on this chart over here uh, maybe something like this up here uh, yeah 
depends on how you draw it. Uh, this is on the daily chart, but you can see here. The, let's let's put the 10 moving average as well. 10 is all the way up here, but we want to get above the 20 moving average, right, and stay above this line over here, the support. So all uh, still, all everything looks fine. And on the four hourly, on the four hourly, you can see here that on the four hourly, on the other chart, we are below the 200 moving average, but on this chart, actually, we are getting exactly support on the 200 moving average. Uh, on the dollar almost right so we might actually keep on watching this chart as well and uh, look for if it's gonna break below this 200 average down here uh, let's see just if there is any air uh, there is an uh, there's no air side divergence on this chart over here the price is going up yes there is the, the price is going up here and uh, yeah there is error side divergence on four hourly here as well so this should as well uh, bounce off of these lines so we are not actually looking on on cme future chart, chart we are not looking to break this line over here we are just looking for this uh, more moving energy averages over here the uh, white uh, red uh, and the blue this moving uh, to get above uh, those moving uh, moving average there is also a yellow moving average up here the 50 moving average so we we want to get above all the moving average but first the 20 and then the 50 moving and get on the upside you can see here already now uh, this is for this is for only just uh, candle that, that just closed and it's still being a little bit red. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so right now everything is looking as it should be looking. And let's look uh, as ending on the daily chart. Are there, is there, uh, yes, there is a huge error side divergence up here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Let's clean, clean this up. Let's uh, clean it. Uh, you can see here the bottoms over here, maybe over here. Right now, there, there is a huge RSI divergence. The RSI is going down, the, the price is going up. So unless the uh, price dumps all the way down and keeps on dumping down here, like uh, below 45,000, these levels down here, uh, I wouldn't be bearish. Uh, and we should see a big move up once this is actually confirmed. Whether it's going to be confirmed here or down here is depends, but uh, I, I'm, I, I'm not seeing any danger. Any danger. Thanks for watching this movie. Uh, this is just the video. Now it's your turn to subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it. Post down in comments and stuff like that. Also, I want to thank everybody that was uh, joining the live stream yesterday. It was kind of fun. Not a lot of people, so uh, it, it was cozy thing to watch the five minute chart on Bitcoin and see if it's gonna get at some kind of bottoming. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. See you later and uh, bye bye. Take care.